So what we learned till now. So we have essentially learned that there is a, a cloud or virtualized environment which will act like a IT infrastructure or the, basically the IT infra. And then over that, we have a software stake which runs your data warehouse, ETL softwares warehouse. Over that, we have what we call it as business intelligence tool. Uh, can you name a few, guys? BI tools, Cognos from IBM, ClickView, Power BI, for example. Do you know any of the, yeah, Power BI? ClickSense, yes. Data Lake. Data Lake is for storing unstructured data. So that comes much later. So it's 2015, I would say. Okay. Tableau, yes, of course, which is also in our syllabus. Data Warehouse stores everything in structured manner. Data Lake is simply dumping the data. Uh, and, uh, you know, nowadays we are recommending an architecture which has a data like next to your data warehouse, data warehouse softwares because we are not losing any data because we have technology now to basically process any kind of data. It could be a video, audio, text, whatever it is and make sense of it in the future. So that's the data like concept. Yeah, good. So we have tens and twenties and, uh, you know, maybe probably hundred valid ones, 20 popular ones just because the BI is the crux. And this is the one which actually creates reports, um, you know, plots and dashboards, anything. This is the one which actually brings the insights and it actually configured to do it for from a level of CEO or even more the, the board uh, to the delivery manager. All kinds of verticals, right? All kind of functionals, HR, this, that and uh, logistics marketing um, a simple example let's take an amazon guy he can only deliver the products in an efficient manner if he gets a list of things clustered on a pin code wise or a region wise so that he can assign the voice and deliver it if he simply gets a truck a container load of things and say okay deliver it uh, it literally goes mad because first of all you have to document it then you have to cluster it then you have to assign it it might take probably take few 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 days to 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 actually even more to actually deliver it, right? So this guy gets a nice list of things which is already clustered and uh, you know you have QR codes they can simply tick and get the information, and to the CEO who is to decide which project to initiate, which strategic decision to take, uh, which area to touch in the business, where to invest. These are strategic level things. So he will get its own report having that kind of information. Accordingly, all the other verticals will also be getting all kind of information. So this is your heart of your business decision making, right? So this is your business analytics stack. 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 Business analytics stack, where you have from IT infrastructure, uh, it could be cloud or virtualized, to the data warehouse and the BI tools. Well, I put a data lake as well, which actually exists parallelly. They're not uh, evolution. Please note whoever said data lakes. Data lake is not a replacement for data warehouse. Data warehouse still stands, and that is the one which is BI is connected as of now. Data lake is a new concept, relatively new concept, which you dump all the information in a cheap storage, uh, hoping that this data will sometimes help us because the technology is evolving and we need to capture as much of data possible, which could help us to understand the business, consumer preference, and many other things in the future. And some we can already do it right now. So that is data lake. Data lake is just dumping. Uh, Ramji, data marked one. I haven't heard about it. So it could be a product of data warehouse. There are a lot of products uh, available in the data warehouse. Data Mart, is that you're talking about? Okay, there's already a, a comparison between Data Warehouse and Data Mart. It's a subset of Data Warehouse, it's usually oriented to a specific business line. Whereas Data Warehouse are enterprise big depth, uh, wide depth information that Data Mart is put into a single department. So Data Mart is a kind of a small subset of your Data Warehouse. So these are Data Marts. Sometimes there are certain information which I think, uh, yeah, it's actually all connected. It's just a subset of it. It's the organization within it. It's like you are organizing data in your library or books in your library. 
Okay. Good that you asked. <clears throat> data warehouse is with structured data. Yes, data warehouse is essentially a structured data. It's a tabular data. You have columns and rows, and mostly uh, relational database management system, whatever you put. In. Okay. Cool. Um, that's your evolution. And then we also have what we call as comparison between data science and business analytics. This is a most often asked questions. So the answer is pretty simple. Data science is an umbrella term. It's actually a much wider term, which even includes machine learning, AI, and many other concepts. Anything we do with the data is data science. Whereas business analytics is pertaining to the te techniques are same. It is mostly business oriented. The goal of business analytics is to provide insights to the business to make better decisions. That's all business analytics is, right? So in the market, what you actually look at, like when, when people say, um, I'm, I'm doing the data science, essentially what they mean is they're doing for business. Business analytics is the right word. But being a business analytics is a subset of data science and data science is becoming a bit cooler word in the market right now. Most people call it as data science. But to be more precise, anything we use to get insights from the data for a business is precisely called as business analytics, which can be taken as a subset of your data science, which is a much wider umbrella. Okay. This is done. This is done. And uh, big data and business analytics. This is also often asked question, how it is big data? Uh, so big data is essentially a different kinds of different kind of data. If the data is really big, I mean, the volume is really high, right? It's in terabytes and, uh, you know, tens and hundreds of terabytes and thousands of gigabytes, which is nothing but terabytes. Usually a lot of transactions or you have a video related information or some very extensive data. Uh, a traditional file system may not be efficient to store. Uh, this is one of the feature of your big data. We call it as big data. All right. Also, if the data comes uh, huge data, one terabyte and more. And also if the data has all kinds of not just the text and structured data. It has images, it has videos, it has uh, free text. Uh, so all kinds of free text, right? And videos and the tweets, the social media information, all of this a variety of data in traditional file systems cannot is not designed to handle it, right? This is also big data and velocity is called as three Vs. All right, velocity, the data continuously streams in. All right, so um, especially when you're looking at something uh, uh, live monitoring the, the stock markets and uh, security camera feeds and uh, many things, your brand image in the social media, you always need to watch and take decision sentiment analysis, especially when you're launching a product or you've done a campaign. You want to watch so these kind of things this kind of data which is a free flowing continuously and it, it's uh, not just a tablet data but images and all kinds of variety of data and it's a huge data one or more of these attributes we call it as big data that's a definition of your big data okay and this is a concept big data is a concept there are technologies especially take uh, Hadoop, which is uh, one of the oldest, it has its own file system called Hadoop file system. And we also have uh, Scala and Spark, which is coming from Apache. We, in data science, we typically use PySpark, which is a connector with the Spark. And uh, there are many other big data technologies which can handle this kind of information very effectively. So, essentially, what a big data technology does, it collects, it stores, and processes information effectively. It's not just effectively. Sometimes it is not possible to do it with the traditional file systems and traditional mechanism. The file is so big, you cannot think of storing it and retrieving it. Whereas in big data, the file is actually stored in the smaller parts and they're connected with the nodes. When you retrieve it, it comes back as like it basically re reverses this algorithm and attaches and gets the data back. There is a methods being deployed, map reduction to reduce the size and many other things which use in big data, which are more effective when compared with traditional ones. So what big data does, it does storing and processing data, especially storing and processing big data. And what is your data analytics? It brings insights from the data. So they are not actually compar compar comparable. It's, it's essentially they're complementing. It stores and processes the data. 
and this brings the insights from the data so if you are dealing with the big data then your big data will actually become a building block the first pipeline or the building block and then you have the business analytics over it